What's up, sports fans? Welcome to VIP Bets Week 3 Stardom Sit'em QB Edition. The Brooklyn Boys are back. I'm your host, Matty G. And joining me is my great friend and DFS pro, Chris the Analyst Ventra. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? What's up, Matty? How you doing? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get right into the action. Week 3 is this week. We went through the first two (laughs) weeks. We're excited. Let's go. Stardoms. Who do we like, baby, this week? Chrissy Babes. All right. So, yeah, we're going to do tomorrow's Thursday NFL is, you know, Thursday Night Football. Yep. So we want to get this done for you guys today. Um, we're going to do three stardoms, three sit So. Number we're, one. We're, number one. And we're going to go from high-end guys, medium, medium guys, and low-end guys. So just to give you different reference points on their price points yep. as well. Uh, so Rodgers is the high-end guy we like. Yes. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, obviously, you know, everybody knows he's a great quarterback. Um, and he's a pretty safe pick here. But uh, out of all those guys in, the, in that top 10 or so quarterbacks, I like him the most. I think it's because, you know, at home against Detroit, uh, Detroit has a def- decent front seven. Lacey hasn't, Eddie Lacey hasn't been doing much so far for Green Bay. Uh, I think once again here, Lacey doesn't do much. I think they're going to have to do a lot of throwing. Uh, and Detroit, I think, is also going to keep up with them the points. So I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think Rodgers has a nice game. Yeah. Book him in for three touchdowns. Yeah, I think the matchup's there as well versus Detroit. I think he's going to be throwing the ball, as you said. I don't see them running the ball a lot with uh, Eddie Lacey. I right. see them giving it to Rodgers this week and him taking it home, to be honest. Yeah, I think he, they're going to just let him, you know, you know, I think he way. picks it up this game. I think yeah. he comes out. Plus, they're a great home team. Yeah, far away, baby. Yeah. Far away. All right, so then we got our medium, uh, mid-tier type uh, priced quarterbacks yep. here. Uh, the, the one back. we like the best, we actually like Tannehill Ooh. at home Ooh. against Cleveland. Really? Yeah. Actually, I think Tannehill last game didn't do too bad. I think he did pretty good, actually. No, he had to come from behind. Uh, yeah, 28 points. First New England, they were down, so right. he had to throw. He threw the Against ball a, a lot. Against, you know, a pretty decent New England defense, he did end up having to throw 35, 45 passes, um, but his completion percentage was always 70%. Yeah. Uh, you know, he threw a couple touches. He did throw a couple picks. But he ended up 28 points. Yeah, So, great, almost great, threw 400 great, yards. Great defense. I think though. now against Cleveland... Uh, with Arian Foster potentially not playing this game, I think I don't know if he's playing or not, but I'm pretty sure he's on the side of not playing. Go check quickly. Um, he's, he's doubtful right now. So he's doubtful. So like, most enough. likely he's not going to play. Uh, you got Jay Ajayi there and Kenyon Drake, the rookie. I really don't think they're going to do too much. I think it's, a lot of this is going to ride on Tannehill. I think he's going to have to light up. Uh, all his all his receivers, yeah, Landry, Cleveland, Parker, versus a very weak Cleveland defense. Cleveland's uh, got what? Who, who's throwing the ball in Cleveland right now, Chris? Oh, oh Cody Kessler. Come on. Yeah, the third I mean, string quarterback. I mean, they're going to probably get the ball back a lot, yes. too. Yeah. I don't think, I don't but think Cleveland's going to We just got to hope, yeah. in this instance, if you're getting Tannehill, but we're going to take Tannehill a lot because we like the price, uh, and he could have a big game. You just got to hope that this game stays at least in, in a realm where Miami's got to throw the ball a decent amount. Yeah. I just hope they don't run all over them and just blow them out where yeah. he's just not throwing anymore. That is true. But if if possible. he does throw yeah. at least 35 passes, I think he has a big game. Yeah, and he can have a couple touchdowns too. So, Cleveland. so I, I like him here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go to our low-end QB. Who do we like here on our low tier? Yeah, so on the low tier here, we both like Sam Bradford a lot, I think. Um, now, at first glance, it might not seem like a great matchup. Carolina... You know, they usually have a stout defense. But Carolina's secondary is pretty god-awful. Uh, you know, now that Norman's gone, I think, especially Bradford last game, he had a decent game uh, coming off that game, his first start. I think he might be able to do some things against Carolina. They're they they might they're probably not going to be able to run the ball very much. You know, Adrian Peterson is no longer there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, they got McKinnon and Asiata. Uh, and Carolina stuffs the run. You know, that's something that they do. So that's what I think they're going to do that again. I think Bradford's going to have to come from behind and throw a lot of passes. I think just in sheer volume, and obviously his price is low, this is a good play. Yeah. I think he can actually put up some points. I Maybe think, some garbage time I touchdowns. I think he's got so. great wide receivers to throw to, and Diggs had a great game last week. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Rudolph Diggs is, having great years. is reliable, not the greatest, but as you said, they lost AP. They're not going to give the ball, you know, 30 runs this game, I don't think. Uh, I just, uh, even if they try to, even if they want to run the ball and not want everything to ride on Bradford, move the ball it's going to be hard AP. against Carolina. And then, even if you try to establish the run, let's say you can't. Now Carolina got the ball a couple of times. Maybe they score a few touchdowns. Maybe they take a nice big lead. Now you got to throw the ball. Mm-hmm. Now you got no choice. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I like this matchup for uh, for Bradford in particular. Uh, you know, I think he could actually have you know a nice 20 to 25 point game at such a low price. That's a start. Yeah, it's a start. Him, you know, I like him. so definitely like him. All right, let's move into the Sidums. QBs, baby. Let's go. Yeah, sit him. All right. do not like. All right, so we're going to start with the, the high-end quarterbacks. Uh, you know, it's tough to pick a high-end quarterback that we don't like, but if we're going to pick somebody, uh, Cam Newton. Yeah. Cam Newton. And everybody loves Cam Newton. We know he's a superstar. And they always say, start your stars. But with all the other high-end guys around him, I think he's got the worst matchup. Obviously, uh, they're home against Minnesota. But Minnesota's been stingy so far. He held Rodgers down. Yep, to nothing, basically. Um, week one, they held, uh, I believe, Tennessee, uh, Mariota down a little bit. So, I, I just see if, if Minnesota really has this stingy of a defense, which I'm not s- completely sold on them yet. It's only been two games. Uh, I think, you know, Cam might have a tough time. Yeah. I think he might throw a pick or two. You know, this could be, like, one of his worst games. At the price that he's at, I don't want to pay for him now. That, that, you, you know, you that's, make, that's you, you make a good point, Chris. It's like, yeah, it's Cam Newton. I mean, you yeah. know, he can have twenty points, but we're saying it based it's off of price. where he yeah. is, the most expensive on FanDuel. When you go to DraftKings, he's basically Second. the the yeah. most expensive there, along with Drew Brees. Right. I mean, we we'll just look at the other matchups. You got Rogers versus Detroit. You got Breeze for Atlanta. Luck at you home got, against San Diego. I mean, these matchups are just better. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather go with any of those of guys. Of course. Matt Ryan. Uh, maybe even Palmer. You know, maybe even Eli. I just don't think Cam's going to have a no. big game this game. And, you know, he's not going to have a big game every game of the season. It's just not going to happen, guys. So, if you're going to bank on a game where he's going to falter a little bit and have, like, his floor game, it's this game. Yeah, I mean, the first two games in Minnesota, they let up one, two touchdowns. And guys, game. we're I talking mean, about GPPs yeah. here. So we're not talking about cash games. In a cash game, fine. Take Cam Newton. That's fine. His floor is so high, he might be worth it. But, but when you're talking about a GPP... Probably not even. But, well, yeah. No, but the thing is, you're play, in, a G, in a cash game, you're playing, you're, you're playing basically one other person or of you're course, 50% of, course, of the field. Of so course. there's a good chance Cam will score 15, 20 points. But we're saying... We're, we're looking at his floor here, mm-hmm. probably. You know, the 15, 20. He's not going to put up that 30, 35, 40 to that you might be used to seeing. You know, right. To win something like this. The five right. And you, know, you don't want to pay for that. So, uh, all right. Next guy, our medium tier or a mid tier quarterback that we don't like this week. Um, you know, and I like the way this defense is trending, too. Obviously, they're my favorite team, the New York Giants. They're our favorite team with the Brooklyn boys, of course. That's right. But. Yeah, Kirk Cousins. We're looking at him right now. We don't like Cousins at New York Giants. No, we do not. Giants have been playing stingy. They held Breeze down to 13 points. Yeah. Breeze and the Crazy. Saints. Crazy. Um, you know, week one they played the Cowboys. They held them to 19. But, you know, it was Dak Prescott. That was expected. But after the week they had last week, you know, the, the team's looking good. It's looking like we're making the, what we're making. <laughs> the Giants. The Giants are making the tackles they need to make. They're holding teams down. They're not be giving up huge, huge plays. Nope, not at all. Uh, uh, they're getting turnovers. They just need to get a little more pressure, a little more sacks. And Kirk Cousins didn't look good at all last week against Dallas, which isn't a, a very good defense. Nope. <laughs> so I think this might be a game where Kirk Cousins throws a couple picks. Yeah. Maybe the Giants' defense might even get a, a fumble recovery off yeah, of him. I think they put pressure on him, get a couple of sacks in there this game. I think the, the yeah. G-men hold him down. I think he's at not home, worth his price. At home. Yeah. Giants at home. You know, if he was maybe $5,300, uh, maybe, but he's $6,400. I got, there's guys below him that I like better. A yeah, bunch of a guys. Lot better, right? A lot better. All right. So now we're going to move on to the low end. Sit him. Sit him down. A guy we don't like at the low end. Obviously, there's a lot to choose from down here that you don't like. but um, <laughs> That's why they're cheap. That's why they're cheap. But we're going to go with Andy Dalton here. Yeah. Andy Dalton. I like Dalton for the season long. 
I think after this week, once he starts, you know, schedule starts lightening up a little bit, he's going to start doing a lot better. But, you know, this is just a really bit. I mean, anybody against Denver, I don't like. Ever. Any quarterback against Denver, I do not like. Denver is ridiculous. Week in and week out, they always impress Week in, me. week out, ridiculous. Cam Newton couldn't beat them week huh? one. Um, you know, I mean, I just don't think Dalton's going to do much here. No, I really don't. Ever. And he's definitely going to, you know, at least have a fumble or interception oh, along look, the way. Look at this team. So, sacks. Oh, yeah, I don't think the numbers are going to be there. The thing is, he's cheap. So people might take the chance on him, and I can understand that, but I just don't, I, I feel like his ceiling in this game is very low. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the guys around him, very low. you like Dak, yes. I even like Alex Smith a little bit. I like Dak more than Dalton in this particular yeah, game, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I like a lot of guys. Uh, maybe, a, I don't know about Wentz, but I don't, I, I don't like Fitzpatrick either this week. But, no, but not versus KC. No, um, but I like Mariota better. Mm-hmm. Than Dalton a lot. Yeah, he's and he's just a couple hundred dollars more. You know, I, I don't want to take the chance on Dalton. I, no, I might not, not put him no. in any line. And you said it, Chico versus Denver. I just don't like real. Yeah, I just don't like people them. versus you know, Denver. I just try to avoid. They're obviously the best defense in the NFL. Defenses, I avoid them. Yeah. I don't want to play them in fantasy. Yeah, you're gonna see ever. also on a lot of our videos. Most weeks, week in and week out, we're gonna have a lot of sit-ems against Seattle and Denver, the two best defenses. It's very difficult. For teams to do anything against those defenses, we're not. I mean, it's just logic. Yep. Um, you know. So yeah, that's fucking logic here. Um, <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you gotta dig it a little deeper. But yeah, that, so that's our start and sit 'em week one, a uh, week three for yep. the quarterbacks. Um, like we said, we got our three start 'em highs: Rodgers at home against Detroit. Remember these? Tannehill at home against Cleveland, and Sam Bradford at Carolina because he's che- really cheap. Um, and then the sit High-end, Cam at home against Minnesota. Cam Newton, that is. Mid-tier, Kirk Cousins at the New York Giants. And like we just said, Dalton at home yep. against Denver. We don't like that matchup. These are guys we hope you, you know, you hope you take them into consideration. Um, use them for, you know, however many teams you want, depending on the te- how many teams you make. And I hope it goes a long way in helping yep. you make that big money, baby. Baby, this Let's is for go. GPPs, as Chris said before. You know, we're trying to... Find those guys that are going to, you know, get you the 30 points. Right. You're looking for high, high points. High points for, you know, people. for what value they are, obviously. So, you know, right. you're going to try and get a guy uh, who's 8,000. All of them are usually good up there. And let's but be realistic. But we're trying to find the guy who's going to give you the most value at that right. price. Right. And, and let's be realistic here. I mean, you know, most people aren't making just one lineup. They're mm-hmm. making, let's say, uh, let's say 50 lineups, Okay. You're not going to use the same quarterback in all 50 lineups. I mean, you could if you want, yeah. but if you want to switch it up, you know, you need three, four, five different quarterbacks you might want to play with. So we're trying to give you some options here, not just Rodgers, Breeze, freaking Luck, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. The not obvious. the studs that everyone yeah. knows about. You're, you're going to want to make teams where you have a, you know, a cheaper quarterback and work around that with the other yes, position players. Definitely, you definitely. know. But yeah. Oh, yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, any feedback you guys want to give us, please do. As you see on... Our uh, video right now, all social media. If you want to contact us there, go ahead. We'll comment back. You can find us all our videos on YouTube on VIP Bet. It's launched. Hit it's ready questions. to go. Sign up. You know, get ready to play some DFS for all sports. Look back. Check for our videos on the other positions for this week. We'll go over it all for you guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. We out. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Get in touch with us. VIP Bet, your place to win.